Hi there, Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. Uh, today I just thought I'd give you a quick update on my sarissa tree. Um, what I want to show you is uh, what I've done with the moss and it has a flower on it now so I'm just going to show you what the flower looks like and that's about it. It'll be a short video today. So I just thought I'd show you what I've done with the moss. Um, it was growing a big, getting quite a thick layer. Uh, the moss grew, it was all this height, very fuzzy and very green and lush looking. So what I've done is I went in and pruned the moss down with the scissors, just like this, you know, pruning it off. And I left little tufts of moss here and there to resemble, you know, little bushes of grass. And this is an effort to give it that African savanna look, so. And there's a couple of nice things. Where I prune the moss away, the sort of the base of the moss is sort of a reddish color, which looks like the African soil. And the tufts of moss kind of give it that, you know, that African landscape feel to it. So the top of the tree, it's starting to fill in again. We had a lot of branches with no foliage on where I pruned it last time. It's starting to fill in. It has a long way to go still, this tree, but uh, it's slowly getting there. I did give it another trimming. Uh, there were some shoots that were sticking up, getting quite long, so I've got that kind of back under control. And I'll just keep doing that from now on. I'll just be giving it a, you know, a light pruning to give that uh, flat top look to the tree and uh, the other thing I wanted to show you today was uh, the placement of animals um, they can look good uh, what I'm gonna do I've got my zebra here and I'll just position it under the tree and yeah it, it looks kind of neat um, there's a zebra under the tree and we can switch that for an elephant. Which also looks pretty good. Um, they're kind of the right scale. However, when you're displaying bonsai, the whole idea of the planting is to kind of uh, get your imagination going. So, uh, I think Ryan Neal said it best. He said, you know, if you have this in a show and you have an elephant underneath it, well, what if I imagined a giraffe underneath the tree instead of an elephant? It kind of ruins it for me. So if you take it away and display the tree with no animals, now it's up for the viewer to kind of picture, well, there's a giraffe grazing underneath the tree or reaching up and pruning off the leaves. So. That's why we display bonsai without animals and, you know, suggestive things like that. Because when the person looking at the tree looks at it, they, they imagine things. They, you know, if you have a cave, they might imagine a bear inside that cave. Or if they imagine a tree, they might picture an owl sitting in one of the branches or something. And that's what you want to do with bonsai is uh, kind of evoke... The person's imagination to take what's there and in their mind they picture things and gives them a feeling of being there and what they would see. So that's the reason we display trees without animals. Now before we go I'll just show you that flower way down over here. So there's the Sarissa flower. It's just a little white flower. And if you let the tree grow for a bit, it'll develop white flowers all over it and looks really nice. So that's it for today, just a short video. So Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai, we'll see you next time.